Okay, so, well, this has been a big story, but this made me mad because even though I'm not a father, it still involved a story about an alleged kidnapping that never happened. Okay, so this turned out to be a very, very huge and higher profile story. So I'm going to share what the story is. And this, this really made me mad. This really made me upset. And then the worst part of it, it's a misdemeanor and not a felony. So uh, take a listen to uh, what I'm about to uh, to read now. Uh, it says, uh, this is from, come on. Okay, this is from ABC News. And I will I will uh, link the story up on the marquee. It says, Hope Disappearance. Uh, Russell was released on bond and charged with two misdemeanors. Uh, this just uh, this just happened uh, yesterday. Okay. Um, so this was a big uh, big big thing. Uh, Charlie Russell, the Alabama woman who told police uh, she was kidnapped uh, after she went missing for two days, was well, arrested Friday and charged with two misdemeanors for making false statements uh, uh, to police. Uh, Hoover, uh, Hoover Police Department Chief Nicholas Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Darius announced during a press conference on Friday. The story opens wounds for family whose loved ones really were victims of kidnapping very dead, which is true, definitely true. And it made me mad, even though I'm not a father, I was married. I, I, I had a wife, and uh, even though I couldn't have a family, uh, my wife was my family. If we did have a child, and that child was kidnapped, we would be devastated. And he added the, the, that he shared in the frustration that Russell was only charged with misdemeanor and said that he is calling on state legislator to add an enhancement to the law when somebody falsely reports kidnapping or other another violent crime, which is true. Now, there's some state now usually usually making making false uh false statements or false uh kidnapping report that's supposed to be a felony, but not in Alabama, not in Alabama. Though so the worst that she could face. The worst she could face is one whole solitary year in state prison. Not federal prison. State. 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 What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Only one year in state prison for two misdemeanor charges? Are you for real? Anyway, existing laws only allowed the charges that were filed to be, uh, the charges that were filed to be filed, he said. Russell was charged with one count of false uh, reporting to law enforcement authorities and one count of falsely reporting an incident, uh, Thurs said. Each charge is a misdemeanor with a 1000 That's a slap on the wrist, $1,000. It's a slap on the wrist. That's somebody's monthly rent payment, okay? That's probably somebody's food bill. That's only $1,000. $1,000 bond, and each is punishable with up to... One year in prison. That's all I said. One year in prison. Up to one year in prison and possibly a $6,000 fine if she is convicted. That's it. That's all. Oh, my God. Russell was released uh, after posting $2,000 bond. See, that's all I said. It's jump chain. That, that bond there was jump chain. Okay. According to Adele, so now she gets to sit out at home and wait uh, and wait trial. Okay, ABC News has reached out to Russell's attorney, uh, Emery, Emery and uh, Anthony, and the Russell family for comment. Uh, Dara said that the police asked Alabama Attorney General uh, Steve Marshall's office to adopt this case because of the tension. It has uh, as gathered, and the attorney general agreed to take it on. Marshall joined Darius at the, the press conference on Friday and said that his office intend to fully prose- uh, prosecute the case. We don't see this as a victimless crime, Marshall said. Uh, there are significant hours spent, resources uh, 
resources expend, uh, extended as a result of his investigation. And not only that, but the many men and women who are civilian who wore those yellow, uh, wore those yellow vests on a hot afternoon, and even, and they they had to search in the middle of the heat. They had to search in the middle of the heat on top of that afternoon and evening, looking for somebody that thought was adopted, trying to be of assistance. Oh my God! Marshall added that his office will continue to monitor this investigation to determine whether or not there are any additional charges that need to be brought. Uh, when asked by a reporter about concern in the community over uh, missing uh, missing black and brown women, both Darren and Marshall dismissed concern that Russell's case could lead law enforcement not to uh, seriously investigate other cases. We will Every case, like all other law enforcement does, so I don't have any concern every anywhere that that would be an that would be an issue. Darren said. Marshall said that he wanted to echo Darren's sentiment, saying, "I expect, regardless of your gender, your race, that when the report is filed, that Alabama law enforcement is going to do its job." Lane Talbot, uh, Talbot, Chief uh, Assistant Dire uh, District Attorney at the Jefferson County District Attorney uh, Basement Division Office told ABC News on Thursday that prosecutors advise police on what we think the charges should be, but said that charges will be filed by the Circuit Clerk of Jefferson County uh, Basement uh, Division Office. Uh, and then I will I will let you read the story because it's kind of pretty long and I am already hot because another thing I am going to say is that the heat returns. Oh no, the heat is bad. The heat advisory is back. Yes, it's going to kill me. Because the heat is back. No. I thought we were going to be back until Sunday. Sunday, come on. I can't get my own food until uh, Monday. Oh, oh, speaking of that, once again, once again, shout out to the Night of Big D Country in the uh, Intern Palace, even though it won't be an Intern Palace after August 31st. But once again, shout out to the, uh, the Night uh, who, you know, gave me the food at least uh, to like uh, hold on to get another one, but... Yeah, so I gave him some uh, gas cap, and uh, I'll still give him uh, the twenty dollars for the last one, the main one. But still, you know, I still be able to uh, to uh, deposit, still be able to do what I need to do and stuff like that. But yeah, so Russell, I am glad that you are under arrest. I am glad that you've been charged, and the bad thing is. Alabama doesn't uh, uh, regard those two laws as felony. They only regard it as misdemeanor. Shame on Alabama. Shame on Alabama. Come on. Why do people move to Alabama anyway? What's up with that? Really? That's ridiculous. Oh, terrible. Escape to BigDCountry.com. Escape to BigDCountry.com. For those that live in, for those that don't live in YouTube side of Big D Country, I uh, want well, do me a favor. Uh, move to the mansion by uh, subscribing to YouTube and then put the like and then and then ring that bell and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just like every other YouTuber out there. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. I just want to get that story before before I lose it before the uh, the trial begins because I want to keep up with the uh, the trial and the whole situation because it was and they even had people searching in the damn heat. Really, Russell, you're through. You're through. You're through. Russell, you're fired.